It's time to drop the hammer. Going to get feisty down into turn number one and two. We'll see what comes out the other end. A little hesitation there in the mid pack. So everybody was kind of waiting on the throttle to pick that bad boy up onto the back. Shoot three wide back in the field through turn number three and four. Here comes Blue after the top spot. Rips his way through the eye of the needle and onto the point. Goes the madman. Connell's going to come down to the inside for the number two E car. Work in tight to the tires onto the front chute. Blue, however, leads him. Backs that baby down into turn number one. Rotates and motivates out of the corner and down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, Kevin Thomas Jr. working from fourth on the field to the outside. Axamo, it gets biked up. That could have been that bad. He's got a good move down on the inside for the 12 cars. Able to get out away from what is now a battle between second, third, and fourth. Grant had a run and unfortunately ran out of daylight. And to get on to Binder's hard there as Brady Bacon slipped up for state up on the high side of the racetrack. Now Green goes back to the top shelf down into turn number one and two. So ride the rim onto the back straightaway. Grant again a drive. Now looks through the eye of the needle. The four car working the middle of the racetrack. Challenging on second and third. Grant picks off Bacon. Goes to second. Bacon battles back. Down on the inside goes Emerson Axum. Here comes around your top spot. Justin Grant's got it. Now drives down to the inside. He'll try to tiptoe the tulips onto the front straightaway and drive away for the battle for second now. It's Emerson Axum and Robert Ballou. It's Ballou hard down into turn number one. And Emerson Axum steps there for a while. In turn number two, you see the back t uh, tires are churning. So he tried to get it motivating down the back straightaway. A little wafting, maybe a smoke coming off that right rear of Emerson Axum. But boy, he is persistent on that low line. And is able to hang tough with Brady Bacon. How? I have no idea. For sheer will and determination for the 47 BC is now back up to challenge for second on the field. As he kind of follows in the tire tracks, Emerson Axum. Axum had to make an avoidance maneuver on a tire. That'll cost him a little bit of time, but he still maintains that P2 spot out ahead of Robert Ballou. And Westfall is right there in the 33M car, puttering around the bottom. Right on the back bumper of the 06. Look out, clipped the tire that time for the 33M. He'll look down to the inside. He'll pick off Max Adams this time. Coming out turn number four. And now go after Ballou. That's for third on the field for the 33M. A masterful job down on the inside. Justin Green, however, continues to run away from the field. Six laps to go that time by. The advantage now, tremendous. He's into the number three spot. Goes the Pleasant Hill, Ohio racer. Axum. A little better run for him this time as Westfall again clips the tire. Coming out turn number two and down the back straightaway. And Westfall's not going to be able to make a drive on Axum. I thought for sure that would be the case. And up front, Justin Grant looking to leave here is still the national points leader. Takes it around for the final time. He rode the rim all the way through this feature event. And he'll ride it right into victory lane. Double checkers at the James Dean Classic for Justin Grant. Emerson Axum finishes out second on the field. Matt Westfall in the 37, the 33M rather, will go from 12th to 3rd.